hypotension is associated with in-hospital mortality. So if you have a sick looking patient with a low blood pressure in the pre-hospital environment or in hospital, you need to take it seriously, look for shock, find the cause and treat it. But just occasionally, we might be asked to review a patient with a low blood pressure who looks very well, perhaps before they go from the emergency department to the ward. They might be a very thin, young female patient and it might be a normal blood pressure for them. So how do we know when to worry about hypotension? That's what this video is about. The well-looking patient should we be worried about a low blood pressure? Well, we need to go and have a look at the patient and assess for any evidence of organ hypoperfusion. We do this by making use of the windows to the circulation. There are three clinical signs and a laboratory test. So the three clinical windows to the circulation are the skin. If they have warm peripheries, good capillary refill, they've got good skin perfusion. The brain, the window to the brain is that patient's mental status. Are they alert, calm, happy, or are they agitated or confused or drowsy? And then finally, the kidneys, the windows to the circulation via the kidneys is measuring that patient's urine output, which of course is not always possible with a single snapshot view of the patient. But those are the three clinical windows. But I mentioned there's a blood test too. We need to be really fully reassured after the clinical assessment by measuring a blood gas. A venous blood gas will give us a lactate. And if the lactate is elevated, but the three clinical windows were normal, we have potential occult hypoperfusion or occult shock. And we need to find the reason why that lactate's high. So in summary, there are three clinical windows and one test. When do you not worry about hypotension? This is all about the letter W, which is very helpful for getting us to remember it. If the patient is warm peripherally, if they are wakeful and they are weeing, then they have the normal three clinical windows to their skin, brain, and kidneys. And then finally, the test, the wactate. If their wactate is normal, then they have the four W's and you don't need to worry about resuscitating that patient immediately. You have time to think and that might be an acceptable blood pressure for that particular patient. If you don't like spelling wactate with a W, you can change this to warm, wakeful, weeing and without a lactic acidosis. So in summary, if you're asked to review a well-looking patient with a low blood pressure that may or may not be normal for that patient, think about looking through the windows to the circulation, the three clinical windows, our skin perfusion, the mental status, and the urine output. If you're still not sure or you need further reassurance, it's best to measure a lactate to look for occult organ hypoperfusion. And if the patient has the four W's, they're warm, wakeful, weeing, and have a normal lactate, then there's no need to worry about the hypotension.